what if someone asked you what day were you born you would answer really quick uh, all because you remember the day on which you were born but what if someone asked you what day was your mom born or your dad or any of your sibling or your dearest friend born in that case you know the date but you don't remember the day so in that case you would just peep into your calendars and check out what day was it but what if there is no need for any calendar and you could just mentally calculate what day was it so this video is all about this thing hello friends i am sunish from team must and in this video i am going to discuss about a trick to find the exact day from a given date before starting with this video let me give you a reminder this video is a continuation of the previous two videos in which we discussed about finding the number of odd days from a given week or a month or a year or any time span and also whether given year is a leap year or not many of you have a misconception that the year which is divisible by the number 4 is always a leap year although this is not the case always so in case you have missed those videos i would really suggest you to watch those videos first as this video is interlinked with those two videos so before getting started you could just see those videos the links are visible right now on your screens or always you can find them in the description below in case you have turned off your captions and all so you would you can always find them in the description below so now starting with this video suppose you are asked to find the day on the date 3 june 1994 so what you would do is just start breaking them into parts so this is the day part this is the month part and this is the year part now as you might be remembering i asked you to memorize a thing in the previous video that for 400 years for 100 years for 100 years we had we have five or days for 200 years we have three or days for 300 years we have one or day and for 400 years we have none that is zero or day so and also one more thing that this this pattern would repeat itself uh, what i mean is that for 800 years again we would we would be having zero or days and for 1200 years also we would be having zero or days similarly for 1600 years there would be zero or days so this thing is going to be repeating itself now coming back to our question that if we have to find day on the date 3 june 1994 so in this case the year part is 1994 so further years can be breaking break, uh, broken down into parts for 1900 years i would write down 1600 1600 years 1600 years as this this is a multiple of 400 so again in this 1600 years we would be having zero or days now remaining 394 years for 300 years again we can write 300 years as we said that it has one odd day now the remaining 94 years we have we have to do uh, what would do what we would just do is just break it further uh, for 94 years we just find out how many leap years are in this case and how many other non leap years so 90 before getting in and further i must tell you that this, this should not be 94 years it should be 93 in fact this is the major mistake we usually make it out because 94th year is not complete yet it's the 93rd year which is complete till 93rd uh, year the years are, have been completed and 94th year is on it's not complete yet so we would just take it 93 instead of 94 years I'll just erase this out so now for 93 years uh, we'll find out the number of leap years and also the number of non leap years for 93 years we have 23 leap years and the remaining 70 would be non leap years now you would be knowing this thing again that for leap years we have two odd days for for each year for non leap year we have one odd day so in this case we have for this case we have 23 cross 2 that is 46 odd days for this 70 70 cross 1 that is 70 odd days now further when i divide it by the number 7 it would give me the remainder to be 4 before 
that simply means it has four odd days and when I divide this by seven it would give me the remainder is zero that simply means in all I have four odd days for 93 years so I just come back again and write here as four odd days so for 93 years I have four odd days now coming to our month part that is for sixth month that is for the month June what I'll do is I'll start writing down starting up with months I'll just write it down for January for the month of January I have 31 days in it so 31 divided by 7 gives me remainder to be 3 for month of February February I have 28 odd days or 29 odd days for this thing I'll see the year 1994 is it the year 1994 is it a leap year or not if it is a leap year then the month of February gonna have 29 days in it if not then it's gonna have it's gonna be having 28 odd days so as the year 1994 is not a leap year so it's gonna uh, it's 28 days in it so 28 days uh, divided by 7 gives me remainder 0 for the month of March I'll find out again uh, I'll see 31 days in it it has 31 days 31 divided by 7 gives me the remainder 3 again month April for the month of April now let's be 30 days 30 divided by 7 gives me remainder 2 now for the month of May month of May I have 31 days in it 31 divided by 7 gives me remainder 3 again and now for the month of June you have to notice this thing that it's not the complete month of June it's till the day 3 as it was the 3rd June as see in the question I asked it was the 3rd June 3rd June 994 so it's not the complete month of June it's simply 3 days of it so for 3 June I'll write down like 3 days 3 divided by 7 gives me the remainder 3 again now adding all these all these odd days from each month would give me 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 6 14 so this gives me 14 so 14 divided by 7 gives me remainder equal to 0 equal to 0 that simply means it has 0 odd days in it so I'll just get back and write 0 odd days for the month and the day part so I'll get back there and for I'll write down for month and day part I have for I must say for 3 June 3rd June month and day part we have 0 odd days now further I'll see that summing this up would give me 5 odd days in all that simply means it's a Friday because Monday starts uh, the week starts from Mondays it has it's been denoted by the number one but similarly for Tuesday it's two for Wednesday it's three for Thursday it's four and for Friday it's five so that simply means the day is Friday that's it now let's take one more example now suppose the year is 31st Jan uh, let's say 1647 let's say 1647 now we have to find the date is this and we have to find the corresponding day so coming back to our trick I'll just divide into parts so this is the day and month part and this is the year part now for this for starting with the years we'll start uh, breaking it further for 1600 years we have zero odd days in it so write down and now again before making a mistake um, by writing it as 47 years I'll write it as 46 years because 47th year is not yet completed so I'll write it 46 now for 46 years I'll see how many uh, how many leap years are there in this case so I have uh, 11 leap years in this case and the remaining that would be 35 35 would be non leap years in this case now as we know that for leap years we have one odd day each so that simply means for 11 leap years I have 11 cross 2 that is 22 22 odd days in it and for these non leap years I have one odd day each that simply means 35 cross 1 that is 35 odd days in it so now further dividing it by 7 would give me remainder to be 
1 in this case of leap years and for dividing it by number 7 in this non leap years would give me remainder to be 0 so that simply means we have 1 plus 0 or day that simply means 1 or day in it so for the years part for 46 years I'll write down back here as 1 or day we have 1 or day I'll, re I'll re erase this part up till now we have seen that for 1600 years you have 0 or days for 46 years we have 1 or day now the remaining part is the month day part so in this case I'll get back and see that it's the date is 31st Jan 1647 so it's 31st Jan so I'll write it as so it's the Jan is the only month and 31st Jan so I'll write on 31 days in it so that simply means 31 divided by 7 would give me remainder to be 3 so that so that simply means that the month part has three days in it three odd days in it so in all i have mm, let me write it here for month and day part month day part month and day part i have i have three odd days in it so in all i have three plus one that is four odd days in it that simply means the day is thursday so this is thursday that's it so as simple as that this is the day thursday you can verify it from your calendars and it uh, the day would be thursday so that's it for this video uh, apart from this thing being cool stuff stuff for finding a day from a given date uh, let me tell you one thing this question of finding a day from a given date is a short short question for all exams whether it be upsc exam or any bank exams or any PO exam or any SSC exam or any exam this is a short short question so I think this after watching this video you're gonna fetch this thing out and that's it for the video hope you really like the video give a thumbs up to the video I would really appreciate your efforts if you could share it to your friend circles and all because knowledge ought to be shared that's it also you can always comment in the comment section below if you feel like having any query on something that I'll try to get you back to get uh, back to each of your queries and all so as my final words do subscribe to my channel team must as there are a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking bye, -bye.